What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people been asking me to speak on that cop who recently got charged with all those. Uh, he got hit with the verdict of guilty. You know, he got guilty on a lot of charges, actually, for putting his knee on George Floyd's neck. A lot of people wanted me to speak on that, you know, even though I do a lot of drill influence content. But I'm not going to lie. That shit rubbed me the wrong way, as you know. But, uh, you know, I think we got somewhat kind of justice, if you ask me. Uh, we couldn't look at 500 years. They ain't doing no motherfucking cop like that. You know, they still riding with them. But we got to look at it. Anytime we get a blue and white, the goddamn it get in them hands cuffs not to go inside of them prison cells we get some kind of win with that shit you know we wanted more because we didn't see videos of that shit man and at no moment did i see george floyd you know what i'm saying act like he finna steal on a motherfucker or flinch or do anything like that they was too aggressive with george floyd in my opinion whether he was you know talking too much or acting like he wasn't finna comply or whatever you niggas are superheroes y'all got to learn how to start him and the motherfucker up or putting them in the car or whatever clearing the the, the scene or whatever the fuck you got to do, but killing a man for a counterfeit $20 bill is getting out of hand. You know, this last year, we didn't watch people get killed for jogging. We didn't watch people get killed for going to sleep at McDonald's or Wendy's or whatever the fuck. We just seen the, a young girl get murdered for arguing at a house. She and her people, the one called the police and they came and smoked up. You know what I'm saying? We seen police serving warrants, kill a motherfucker in the crib. They tried to cover this shit up with this cop putting his knee on dude's neck, but we got on the ass about that shit. You get what I'm saying? So we got somewhat justice. Now, we all know that he going to get about 20 some years, maybe do half, maybe 10, 12, a little bit of good time. We know he going to be home within 10. We understand this, but the fact that we get a chance to fuck his record up and shit like that, that got to be a win. Only win he got is to go in them prisons and maybe join an Aryan nation or whatever the fuck to try to protect itself because it's going to be peaches and cream when the guards around you, but eventually they're going to leave. These guards are regular people. These prison guards are regular people. You know, uh, 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 listen to me, man. A CO is a nine to five. That's a fucking job. So if you depending on these guys to keep you safe, it ain't going to happen. You know, I think he didn't woke up in the morning and realized what the fuck he didn't did. You know, it's a sad situation. And I'm not going to lie. I don't really want to wish jail on any motherfucker, to be honest with you. But this motherfucker right here is a little different because he didn't really show no remorse. His mugshot looked heartless. He was in the courtroom. He was looking heartless. You know, you had an opportunity to plead to the judge, plead to the family, tell them how much you made a mistake, how you got right with God, how you know what you did that they weren't right. You did none of that. You know, so it's hard for me to kind of, you know what I'm saying, take the little white chalkboard and to take the little white chalk and cover over the darkness on my heart for you for that shit. But, but you know, you got an opportunity. You're going to be in there for a while. Maybe some reality snap in your head and you realize what you did to that man was wrong. You know, a lot of people don't like that shit. And a nice sorry would have helped. Not saying we ain't want you to go to jail forever, but you know, to acknowledge what the fuck you did would have really helped the black community and helped the white community and any motherfucking community who don't like nobody doing no barbaric, heinous shit to a human being. Because what you did to that dude was uncivilized. I seen a grown ass man scream for his mama. Like, imagine how hard you got to be choked. Imagine how hard a nigga knee got to be in your neck. Imagine how hard it got to be when you can't breathe. Imagine how deep it got to be for a grown-ass man to say, Mama! So that shit got me feeling a little, you know, I don't really feel happy with that shit, you know. I don't wish jail on nobody, but this nigga, yeah. He a little different, you know what I'm saying? It's a sad situation. And he has a history of doing this shit to other people, too. And that's the thing that kind of makes me a little sick, because they look at it like it's bigger than just him. It's a lot of shit that happened in Minnesota. If you look up, if you go Google, you go Google right now and look up, you're going to see that by that cup food, that cup food, that motherfucking grocery store right there, it's other shit that happened at that grocery store. It's a man right now locked up unjustly for some shit that happened by that grocery store right now in Minnesota. So I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on out there in Minnesota. Y'all trying to tell us about the good air, all the good shopping, the mall of America. We won't know about what y'all cops doing. So, you know, we got somewhat of a win, but it wasn't a full win. 
You get what I'm saying? We know second degree murder faces up to about maybe 20, 40 years or some shit like that. You ain't gonna sentence him to that. We know you're gonna sentence him to about 15, 16, some shit like that. He gonna get some good time and this and that. He be home in eight or nine. We seen how the Blagojevich shit play out. You know what I'm saying? That man gonna come home to book deals and all kind of shit. And we don't like that. So we going to be nixing that book deal shit. Hopefully the family put a silver suit on his ass so he can't come out of jail trying to do any of that shit. You ain't going to cloud out George on the real. But uh, I guess that that's the justice we going to get. We got to take what we can get, man. You know what I'm saying? These people don't want to give us nothing. So at least we can put his ass in there for a little while at least, you know. I don't think this is a full win, though. We can't let this go over our head. I'm not sure if this is a full win, because to be honest with you, I seen just tear the world down. We marched all around this motherfucker, man. Every 50 state marched. All the continents marched. Every country marched. Every, man, it was people marching in France and Africa. And then guess what I seen after all those marches? We vote an 80 year old white man in as president. I want you to hear me out with this shit. We did all this marching. We marched in Japan and China just to vote an 80 year old ass white man back in office. I want y'all to hear, don't let this shit go over your head. Now, I'm not knocking, this ain't no racist shit. I like all races. But why couldn't we vote a young white man in? Why couldn't we vote a middle aged white man in? You notice all the presidents be old ass white people. I'm talking about old ass granddaddy white people. We did all this marching for that shit again. We did all this marching again to get this dude on second second degree. He gonna be home in 12 years. We ain't all the way happy with that. So we ain't gonna let that shit go off our heads, all right? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the homie truth. Put it, put it, put it.